Hey everyone, I'm not sure where Callie is. I know she told me to be here at this time and at this place. I know she was super excited about the animal we're talking about today. So am I. But where is she? Callie! Roar! Callie, you scared me! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Since I knew that today we're talking about lions! You just helped me remember why lions are one of the most feared animals in the world. Not only are they big and strong, they can roar really loudly. Roar! Yep, the sound of a lion's roar goes a really long way, but they can be super quiet too. They can creep up on other animals really quietly, just like you did. Whoa! So a lion could be creeping up on us right now? And I wouldn't even know it? Don't worry, Callie. I don't think there are any lions around here. Besides you, that is. <laughs> Plus, I'm here with you. I'll keep you safe. You're the best. I'm so sorry I scared you. It's okay. You didn't scare me that much. Uh, let's check out our Bible story for today, everyone. Callie, I'm okay, really. Callie, bro. Today's story comes from the book of Daniel chapter 6. As we learned last week, King Belshazzar did not make good decisions. So he didn't last that long. There's a new king now. His name was Darius. King Darius liked Daniel a lot. In fact, he liked Daniel so much that he eventually put him in charge of the whole kingdom. Because of this, other people who worked for King Darius did not like Daniel very much. So, they made a plan to get Daniel in trouble. They knew that Daniel only prayed to the one true God. So, they tricked Darius into making a rule that no one can pray to anyone but King Darius for a whole month. If they broke that rule, they would be thrown into a den filled with hungry lions. The king made the rule and Daniel, who loved God, broke it. He was caught praying to God and the king was forced to have Daniel thrown into the lion's den. But King Darius was more afraid than Daniel was because he really cared about Daniel. He didn't know that the rule that he made was a trap to get Daniel in trouble. He did not sleep that whole night and in the morning he ran to the lion's den to see what had happened to Daniel. Turns out, Daniel was fine. Daniel told the king that God had saved him. He didn't even have a scratch on him from the lions. The king ordered that Daniel be taken out the den right away. Then he put the people who didn't like Daniel into the lion's den because they tricked the king to get Daniel in trouble. King Darius knew that Daniel had done nothing wrong and that the God that Daniel loved was real. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, he had so many reasons to be afraid, but one very good reason not to be because Daniel knew God would protect him if he could say, I'm not afraid, God is with me. That story reminded me of something. It reminded me of the first time I slept in my own room, by myself, with the lights completely off. That sounds scary. It was. I think I might have felt like Daniel in the lion's den. I didn't know what was lurking in the dark. I was so afraid. What did you do? Well, I remembered something and it made me feel a little bit better and then a lot better. Then I fell asleep. What did you remember? I remember that God is with me, just like God was with Daniel. When I woke up and the lights were back on, I saw that there wasn't really anything in my room to be scared of anyway. But I was still glad to know that God is always with me. Do you ever feel afraid like I felt in the dark? If you do, you can remember the big idea for today. You can even say it out loud. I'm not afraid. God is with me. You could even sing it with me. I'm not afraid. God is with me. If I 
feel afraid. What should I do? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Pray to God to not let go. Daniel in the lion's den. They trusted God, so I will then. Hear me roar. Afraid and life is a zoo No matter what anyone else says I will follow all God's ways Even when I make mistakes God gives me a brand new day Hear me roar. Ready? Three, two, one, roar! That's it for today, friends. Remember, I'm not afraid. God is with me.